Like most people, I love The Legend of Zelda games. They are some of the most pinnacle of adventure games, and they're all a blast to play. But when I got the idea to do some Legend of Zelda wall art, I immediately knew that I wanted to do something from the Minish Cap. Partly due to the fact that that is the most recent Legend of Zelda game that I've played. Regardless, I wanted to make something from the Minish Cap, and I wanted to try something that I have yet to attempt, and that is to make some scroll saw art. I came across a user on Instagram by the name of Scroll Saw Scribbler. Scroll Scraw Scribbler. Scroll sc Scroll Scraw Scribbler. <laughs> oh my gosh. And holy cripes on toast, his work is amazing. After looking through his projects, I decided I wanted to make some scroll art of my own. I found a picture of the Picori that I liked and I brought it into Inkscape. I then started tracing out all of the shapes and the colored sections of the Picori. After I had everything traced out, I had to figure out what size I wanted to make it. I ended up changing my document size to 12 by 12 for the frame and decided to make my Picori about 9 inches tall. I placed the Picori where I wanted him to sit on the frame for reference and then I started to break up the outlines into different colors that I would need to cut out. After getting them all separated, I decided to go back and to redraw the sections of the tail instead of one piece like I had had it, and the hat to break it up into two separate pieces. I fit all the separated shapes onto sheets of paper, printed them out, and then took them to Woodcraft to pick out different hardwoods. Now for the colors, I went with Bloodwood for red, Yellow Heart for yellow, Cherry for the brown sections, Maple for the skin sections, and Walnut for the frame border. I got a half inch and a quarter inch piece of 12 by 12 plywood for the background and backing, spray adhesive to put the patterns on the wood, and wood dye to dye the maple green for the green sections. I was excited for this. I have never used hardwoods like this before, but man, they're pretty. I cut my patterns out, put spray adhesive on the wood, and then affix my cutout shapes to the wood. All right, side note here, I did this part all wrong. First, I sprayed way too much. Second, I was supposed to let the adhesive dry on the wood just a little bit before I put the paper on the wood. I put it on too soon, it was wet, it didn't stick, and later when I cut the shapes out, I had a hard time getting the paper off the wood. So to not make the same mistakes that I did, Sawdust Junkies actually sent me a recommendation to share with you guys. Hey guys, Lizzie from Sawdust Junkies. My scrolling tip for you is contact paper and spray adhesive. You put the contact paper over your material and spray adhesive your paper template to the contact paper. This will peel right off and leave your material nice and clean for finishing. And my favorite spray adhesive is 3M General Purpose. I traced the border onto my half inch plywood and then positioned my picori where I wanted it. Now there are different kinds of scroll saws for different work, obviously, and some that are really good for fine detailed work like this. Uh, this one is not, but it's what I have, so I'm gonna use it anyway. I drilled a hole into the plywood, loosened up my blade, put it through the hole I just drilled, and then set and tightened it back up to start cutting the shape out. I did notice something about my particular brand of scroll saw while I was cutting this all out. The base plate sets about an eighth of an inch below the table. And since I was cutting small pieces, I ran into the issue where the tip of the wood would drop down onto the level of the base plate and would cut unevenly. I need to go back and replace mine to make it all level, but it is something to look out for on your scroll saw. I printed out my outline and started to cut out each piece of the colors and then fit them onto the outline.
After doing this for a bit, I realized that fitting all these shapes onto the outline was a completely unnecessary extra step. And I could just be fitting all of the pieces directly into the frame. Again, don't do what I do. I mean, this is a tutorial, so do do what I do on the parts that are right. Never mind. So I took my backing and dyed it espresso and then glued and clamped the backing to the frame. After it was dry, I started filling the pieces into the frame. The green pieces I did last because I had to take those pieces and dye them green. I put some alcohol in a cup, added some of the wood dye until it was the shade that I wanted, and then I dropped in a test piece to soak. After a bit, I took the test piece out to check it, and it was the same color. So I added a lot more of the stain to the alcohol, I mixed it all up, and then dropped my test piece back into soap. After a while, I pulled it out to check, and it was still the same color. And so, I went to Lowe's and got some colored wood stain, and then went back and stained my pieces green. And after they were all dry, I added them to the frame. The last thing I needed to cut out was the walnut border. I set up a guide and I cut my 8 inch pieces of walnut into strips. And then cut them to length and added the 45 degree cuts. Then I fit them to the frame on the guides that I drew earlier. After that it was just glue and clamp. I took some fine grit sandpaper and I went over all the pieces to smooth everything out as well as to get rid of the extra glue or paper that I just couldn't get off earlier. I also took a razor blade to try and clean up some more of the spray adhesive that was still on the wood. Again, don't do what I did. Then I went and added some oil to the hardwoods. And after that, my first attempt at scroll saw art was done. If you like this project, hit the like button. And if you share my affinity for Zelda culture, be sure to subscribe. And if you would like to download the patterns that I made for this project, head over to Patreon.